As schools across the country look at their safety plans, we're learning one area school is taking new action to make sure their students are safe. News 3's Madeline O'Neill has the latest from Broadhead. An early morning school shooting in Maryland brought school safety to the forefront of educators' minds, but for one area school district, they already had a fresh perspective. Well, here's another one. It seems like every week lately we're hearing about another shooter incident in schools. Green County Emergency Management Director Tana McEwen says it's news like this each day that motivates her to be prepared, which is what brought a group of first responders together in a school gym. Exercise last night, we're proving our planning, knowing each other's responsibilities and what we can do to respond to an incident like that. McEwen wrote a grant for a tabletop exercise in the Broadhead School District, bringing together key players, including police and the FBI. That exercise happening just hours before the school shooting in Maryland. It doesn't make you feel good any day to wake up and, and see something like that happen, but it does make you feel a little bit better that you're a little more prepared than you were yesterday. High school principal Jim Matthias says the main takeaway from the discussion is a need for better communication between agencies. All these things that you have to plan for. Things like planning places for parents to meet up with kids and how to use social media to keep parents in the loop. All that was really thoroughly discussed last night. Great learning experiences, eye-opening about the different things and variables that you don't take into account. And, you know, as far as, you know, reunif reunification sites and locations and who we can pull in for support. Broadhead Superintendent Lenny Lewick says while there's peace of mind in having a plan in place. I learned that we've, we've done a lot to be prepared and there's a lot that we need to do to be prepared. The Broadhead School District is planning for a full-scale active shooter drill. Reporting in Broadhead, I'm Madeline O'Neill for WISC News 3.